Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the season finale. The CW has released the official synopsis for the final two episodes of the season. Also, we have a couple of other synopsis that we're going to be covering in the next few videos. But for now, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to be going over the final three episodes because they've been released and I thought, why not, let's just combine them all. So basically, the season or series finale for Supergirl, the final episode, is actually going to be a two-part episode airing on the same night. So it's going to be a big kind of two-hour-ish event on the CW and we have the official titles for those episodes and also we have the two synopses. They haven't released any promos or any kind of images as of right now, but as we get closer, we're going to be getting them. Obviously, we're pretty damn close considering that we only have four episodes left. And in the next episode, which is coming out on Tuesday, you're obviously going to be seeing Lex Luthor teaming up with Nixley as it was teased at the end of last episode, and he's back. That episode is titled, I believe, in a thing called Love. We should be having a video out on the trailer and the promo for that episode in the next few days so stick around for that just before that episode comes out but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the synopsis for the third to last episode of the season titled truth or consequences this is how the synopsis goes three episodes left until the series finale supergirl is determined to keep everyone safe from lex and nixley so she doubles down on patrol Especially as Alex and Kelly's bachelorette party is coming up, Alex is torn between duty and finally allowing herself the time to enjoy her new family. Brainy receives heartbreaking news and William clashes with Andrea over her recent coverage of Lex. Okay, so this is episode 18. This is coming out on the 2nd of November. So we're not that far away from this episode. And so, let's break this down. So Supergirl is determined to keep everyone safe from Lex and Nixley, who I just said, they're teaming up at the moment, and they are supposedly going to get into this kind of weird romantic relationship, as was teased last episode, where it's all twisted and they're all villains, but then they're kind of into each other. So it's going to be strange, but I kind of look forward to seeing how that actually goes down. And so Supergirl is doubling down on patrol around National City in order to keep everyone safe from Lex and Nixley because, you know, they're definitely up to something and they're going to be in the last two episodes as well. So it's definitely like a big threat for National City and of course Supergirl is going to double down and try and protect the city. And especially as Alex and Kelly's bachelorette party is coming up, they kind of want to try and stop them before this all happens and get it out of the way basically. So obviously Alex and Kelly, they are getting married. This is confirmed in the synopsis prior to this. So next episode, we should be getting the official proposal. We'll talk more about that in a video where I actually get to that. But in this episode, maybe we will see the bachelorette party and that's coming up. And so Alex is torn between duty and finally allowing herself the time to enjoy her new family. So duty obviously means being a superhero and being part of the super friends. She has a duty to help National City as a vigilante. And also she's got Esme now who is her new adoptive daughter and they're about to get married. So it's all about family right now for Alex. So she's going to be torn between the two kind of duties that she has in her life. And Brainy receives heartbreaking news. Now, what could this heartbreaking news be? Could it be something to do with Nia? He's definitely the most connected with Nia because they are a thing. However, I don't think like Nia's gonna die or something. So I don't know if it's news from the future. Maybe it links into Monel and Wynn coming back in the finale from the future. Could it be something to do with that? Maybe, but I'm not gonna give any like concrete guesses right now because I'm not sure what this news could be and again William is clashing with Andrea over a coverage of Lex obviously that was set up a couple of episodes ago where he was like we're doing this by my terms and not your clickbait terms and so that's kind of where we're continuing on from that now let's go ahead and get into the finale the series finale of the entire show the final two episodes again it's a two-part episode so that's why we're going over both of these so this is how the penultimate episode synopsis goes, it's titled The Last Gauntlet, and it goes like this. The penultimate episode kicks off the two-hour finale for Supergirl. 
In the penultimate build-up to the season finale, Supergirl and the Super Friends take drastic action after a loved one is kidnapped by Nixley and Lex. An unlikely ally steps in to help the team, and so this is it. This is episode 19, this is coming on the 9th of November, along with the finale because it is a two-part event. So the 9th, that is literally not very far away. We got eight more days of October plus nine days, and so that's 17, just over two weeks until Supergirl's series finale airs. Obviously, like I said, it's a two hour finale, so it's longer. But let's break this down. So, in the penultimate build up to the season finale, Supergirl and Super Friends take drastic action, and this drastic action has something to do with Nixley and Lex kidnapping one of their loved ones. Now, could this be. Esme or someone very very personal and very very new to their family or is it someone like William who you know isn't necessarily a loved one but it's someone that they all know and they would all care about if he was kidnapped obviously he did get kidnapped already so I'm not saying that it's very likely that William's gonna get kidnapped by Nixley again I don't think he would hold that much significance compared to say if they kidnapped say Kelly or you know, Alex or someone, of course they're gonna care, but I think the biggest one is probably Esme. If they do that, they are terrible. They are terrible villains, and I just kind of see that happening. So, what do you guys think? Who is your theory about who's been kidnapped? And so, let's move on. So, an unlikely ally steps in to help the team. I don't know who the unlikely ally is. I don't remember any of the set photos in regards to this penultimate episode, but... Could it be someone who's showing up in the finale? We know that there is a couple of familiar faces who are showing up. Potentially, it could be one of them who, you know, wasn't normally there and wouldn't normally be there. However, by the use of an unlikely ally, it kind of infers that maybe the person was a villain or someone who didn't necessarily agree with, you know, Team Supergirl. So, I have another theory. I think it could be Andrea. And it could be like her sort of superhero persona, even though she's not necessarily a superhero. She's someone that Team Supergirl definitely isn't in alignment with. They don't like her right now because of the way that she's been covering everything. And, you know, her journalistic actions are definitely against what William and Kara stand for. So she is definitely an unlikely ally and she has superpowers. And I believe there was some stuff with her behind the scenes where she's actually suited up in her Akrata costume. So I'm gonna say she's the unlikely ally who is going to be helping the team by using her powers in episode 19. Okay, so let's move on to episode 20, the epic series finale, which is officially titled Kara, which is very, very fitting, obviously Kara, and that's her name, and it's the series finale, it's the final web episode, so why not call it Kara, it sounds great. Okay, so the epic series finale, brings back familiar faces and features a beautiful wedding. Spoiler alert. In the epic series finale, Supergirl is joined by familiar faces from the past to help us stop Lex and Nixley for good. Meanwhile, Alex and Kelly prepare to walk down the aisle. McCard Brooks, Jeremy Jordan, and Chris Wood return for the series finale. This episode is episode 20. The air date is on the 9th of November, as well as the penultimate episode. So let's break this down. So the epic series finale brings back familiar faces and features a beautiful wedding. The wedding obviously is in regards to Alex and Kelly. And like I said, in the next episode, we're going to get the proposal. And then we're going to have the bachelorette party the episode afterwards. And we're going to be building towards this wedding, which will be occurring in the finale. I'm looking forward to it. And I think everyone else is as well. And so, Supergirl is joined by familiar faces from the past to help us stop Lex and Nixley. So obviously, maybe a call is put out, or potentially people hear of the threat in National City in present day, with Nixley and Lex teaming up. Perhaps they are quite unstoppable, and that is what piques the interest of, say, mon and Wynn, who come back from the future. We definitely know that's going to happen. So, is it something where they get a call, like a beacon sent out? Or could it be, like I just said something where they know how history goes and they know they must intercept. So I'm really excited to see familiar faces like when Monel return. I wonder how James actually is involved in this as he returns as Guardian in the finale. It could be that he's just like 
noticed on the news or maybe gets a call from Kelly being like, we need your help, like right now. So come back to National City and help us. Obviously, that's the most feasible thing and the most feasible return because we know that he's not in the future or something. But Monel and Wynn need a good reason to come back in the past because obviously they're off with the Legion of Superheroes in the future. But nevertheless, really excited to see all of these old familiar faces who obviously have been in the show for a long, long time and we've missed them dearly. And so, yeah, they're going to be back to take down Nixley and Lex and I think it's going to be a cool final battle. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for all my Supergirl coverage as we head towards the end of the series. So I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.